for Minnesota. Minton will cycle it back on the other way. Reeves goes after it. And big hit there as he drills Rossi. Alex Galagoski feeds it ahead. Here comes Gaudreau. And Gaudreau with a shot. And that's kicked away by Santanov. Another hit to Toledo. And Reeves, they've done this before. Gaudreau is hurt. To this is the third fight between Ryan Reeves and Marcus Foligno. this hit earlier on you know that you're going to have an impact we saw this in game one Reeves with a hit the very first shift he does the same thing here but look at the timing of this quick little turn back and just from the side as he got knocked down no hesitation at all for Felino and you know Reeves the veteran expecting something to come when you make a hit like that you know that's in real time Chris so it's hard to take a look at that I thought the timing of it a little bit late but it Looked like he got him in the middle of the body. Here's the call, and we'll hear what the officials have to say. So Dan O'Rourke says just five minutes each. So what's the principal point here? Oh, yeah, that's a side to side, but caught him at a really bad spot as he's turning, thinking about shooting. So you're not thinking at all you're going to get hit. And right as the release comes, he gets knocked right on the shoulder down. And... As I said, credit Felino. He knows what a task it is to go up against Reeves, but both guys seem ready and willing. Says he plays tougher against his his friends, and he has a lot of friends in Minnesota. I guess Gaudreau and Felino are two of them. <laughs> 